All right, and welcome back to this edition of your Kingsport blog video update. I thought we might start this time uh, reviewing some of the top stories from Kingsport blog based on your clicks. Uh, and then the number one spot for the last 30 days has been um, the Carriage House post about the cash mob in downtown Kingsport. The Duncan family uh, has operated Carriage House for well over 30 years. Actually, I think it was 37 years. And they relocated uh, to make way for the academic village. Um, and you really just can't find better community stewards and citizens than that. So uh, if you get a chance, it's still not too late to drop by and say thanks to uh, the Duncan family. Uh, they are located on East Market Street, um, just past Wexler, and so drop by and uh, say thanks for being in downtown Kingsport for such a very long time. Uh, the number two story is the Aquatic Center progress. Uh, con construction continues. You can see steel coming out of the ground just across from Meadowview Convention Center, adjacent to the Cattails Driving Range, and uh, we do expect that the Aquatic Center will be finished sometime in the early part of 2013, so look forward to that amenity. Uh, the next is Tennessee ranked the number one retirement destination by topretirements.com. Uh, while that doesn't come, to, uh, come as no, while it comes as no surprise to us that live here, um, it is certainly a marketing element that we can use to attract even more attention. So again, Tennessee was ranked number one retirement destination by uh, topretirements.com. So check that out. Uh, the next, based on clicks, is uh, the relocated Habitat store, which moved into a portion of the Holston Defense, uh, built, no, excuse me, Holston Builders building on East Market Street. So check that out, and uh, you can donate your um, clothes or furniture, things like that, for resale to support a very good cause, which is Habitat for Humanity, which has built countless homes for very deserving families in the Kingsport area. Um, next on the top clicks is uh, the Kingsport Chamber awarded the 2012 uh, Santa Train Scholarship to Kashina Walford of uh, Phelps, Kentucky. So you may not know that the Santa Train uh, tradition uh, actually awards a, um, a scholarship to a very deserving student somewhere along the route. So uh, while the Santa Train's a lot of fun, it's also very practical in that it uh, offers an opportunity for education for uh, folks that live along the route. And uh, last but not least in the top clicks is uh, Peanut the dog was pulled safe from a cave, gone four days. Uh, that actually made uh, some national news. Um, the uh, Kingsport Times News reported that an EMS worker had gone into the cave to save uh, the dog. And so you just never know what's going to crop up locally that's going to be uh, of interest nationally. So uh, that did garner quite a bit of interest, uh, even from the Associated Press. So um, again, those are your top stories from the past 30 days on kingsportblogger.com. I uh, would like to call some attention to some events coming up. We've got the One Nation Under God patriotic extravaganza coming up uh, on June 29th at the Toy Reed Center. Tickets are $3, and they are available at the door, and that's always a great show, so I would encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity. Kingsport Home Sales have uh, shot to a 46-month high, so uh, that's very good news for our economy. Things seem to be continuing to turn around and look up. So again, Kingsport home sales have shot to a 46-month high. Blake Leeper, who is a, an alumnus of Dobbins Bennett High School, uh, is making a full run at Paralympic glory. Uh, Blake is actually favored to win gold at the Paralympic Games. So I would encourage you to go and Google Blake's name under Paralympics. Um, he was born with le without lower extremities, and uh, he played basketball at Dobbins Bennett, and uh, he ran at Dobbins Bennett, and he's, a, he's a, just a super family, super guy, and I would encourage you to check that out. Again, Blake Looper, a local uh, uh, product, is making a full run at Paralympic glory. I also would encourage you to, uh, to look up Dinner at the Farm on July 15th. Um, there is a community food project that's coming in to, to uh, educate folks on how to build a local food economy. We hear about the concept of slow food, which means that the food was grown here locally, and therefore it is, it's more healthy, there are less uh, preservatives, and there's an event coming up at the farm on uh, Sunday, July 15th. And again, I would encourage you to Google that and, or visit kingsportblogger.com and check out the Dinner at the Farm Sunday, July 15th. Uh, and Kingsport Tomorrow helped uh, promote that as well. 
The 2012 Cosby Awards are coming up very soon, and the deadline for submitting your application um, for, for your business awards uh, is now available at cosby.org. So I would encourage you to check that out and uh, just continue to celebrate the success of small businesses here in Kingsport. Move to Kingsport got a top boost. I uh, got a boost from topretirements.com as well. Um, I mentioned earlier that Top Retirements was one of our top uh, clicks, and uh, Move to Kingsport is attempting to capitalize, obviously, on that locational um, amenity, so check out uh, topretirements.com. We're also going to be having the American Association of Retirement Communities uh, National Conference here at Meadowview uh, October 24th through the 26th. So again, we're trying to showcase our community to potential uh, newcomers, particularly in that segment, uh, is retirees. The No Limits Gospel Fest is coming up. It's a free concert at Meadowview on July 7th, and it goes to support a great cause. Again, No Limits Gospel Fest, so check that out, please. Uh, we've got annexations coming up in the Colonial Heights area. If you live in any of the areas bounded by Fort Henry Drive, Interstate 81, and Meadow Lane, uh, you are targeted for annexation before the end of this year. So you will receive direct mail notification from the Kingsport Planning Department. But if you have any questions in between, feel free to call 423-229-9485. Kingsport Mets uh, have the first round uh, draft uh, pick of the New York Mets organization playing here in Kingsport this summer. Uh, Gavin Caccini is uh, coming down to... Uh, to uh, get his feet wet, so to speak, here in Kingsport. So uh, if you needed any more reason to go see the Kingsport Mets, now you can go see the top draft pick of the entire Mets organization who's going to be playing right here in Kingsport. United Way recently kicked off more than 75 uh, week of caring projects, and each one of those projects goes to uh, support a nonprofit agency to help them continue the good work that they're doing. And I think that the, the fact that there are 75 plus is a great, uh, a great example of the caring spirit of the Kingsport community. So uh, we often talk about J. Fred Johnson and the Kingsport spirit and, and the uh, need to give back to the community. Of course, this is a great example of that continued uh, spirit. If you have an interest in participating or if you would like to do one in the future, feel free to contact uh, the United Way. Uh, Kingsport's Old Island um, subdivision ranked second best retirement destination in Tennessee, uh, also by topretirements.com. So again, Google that and check out Old Island. Um, tremendous amenities, um, the golf course, the beautiful green hills, um, just off Memorial Boulevard in the Indian Springs section um, of Kingsport. Recently had the opportunity to um, rededicate John B. Dennis's resting place at Oak Hill Cemetery and uh, Harriet Dennis, um, I forgot her last name now, Harriet Dennis came down to visit and uh, she is the grand, great niece of John B. Dennis and um, she got to stop by the office for a few minutes and we got to tour her around the building. She got to see where John B. Dennis's office was and uh, just very uh, impressed that uh, the way his memory was, was handled here and she indicated that there are no Dennis um, heirs with the Dennis name, so uh, it's going to be important to her family's long-term legacy to be sure that uh, the work of her uh, grandfather and her um, great uncle are remembered uh, appropriately. And then finally, if you drive down past uh, Eastman, you'll see a lot of construction work along Wilcox Drive. That is the mobility path that's being installed to connect uh, the core of the city uh, to the aquatic center in the Meadowview area. So you'll be able to ride a bike, walk, run out to the aquatic center from downtown Kingsport. That's your Kingsport blog video update. And as always, you can check it out at kingsportblogger.com and look for an opportunity to sign up for emails at that location. There's a little white box, just sign up for emails. Um, or you can continue to watch us on Channel 16.